All right. I'm going to make this video for everybody who has Windows 8 or 8.1. Now when you when you when you boot up your computer or log in, whatever you want to call it, this is what you see. Well, your start button is missing. If anybody's had Windows 7, they, they, I'm sure you miss the start button. I'm going to show you how you can get the start button back. It looks like Windows 7, or Windows XP, or even older. It's your choice. Even after you download it, you can change it. And it, you can, you'll still have all your controls up here. All these will still be there. Everything will still be the same except the start button. Now, if you have Windows 8.1, you can right-click on it and they did add the start button in Windows 8.1 you can shut it down restart sign out alright let's get started this is my virtual machine by the way and this over here is my host machine I have Windows 7 I'm gonna get a start button start menu that looks real similar to that with the search box and everything which is my favorite alright let's get started I already got my browser open on my desktop and the top of the thing right here type in classicshell.net enter now right here on this download now button click that it's real easy to install and if you don't like it you can uninstall it it's a lot smaller program than you think and like I said it won't change the looks of your computer at all there might be somebody in your family that just insists to having that start button that way you have both okay whenever you get this here I just can't express it enough close your browser it downloads way better and faster and then click next accept the agreement click next you don't need to mess with any of them them decide where it goes you can set you can click on them and you can see it will be installed on your hard drive and you just don't need to click on them create a start menu folder yeah I'll just leave everything the same click install yes I want to make changes to my computer and if you leave that checked it gives you a readme file it gives you a little bit of the instructions on how to do all the settings and everything if you decide to change any of the settings but if not let's see I'll uncheck that and then you just click finish and that's it it's all done now you notice that used to be your windows thing there is you got a shell alright now I've already had this on here before and uninstalled it and reinstalled it just for this video and I picked windows 7 it's real similar to the windows 7 now you have all your programs you got all your all your installed your installed software you got your windows update um, run and your shut your shutdown button is there restart is there your search box to do any searching you want and if you decide you don't like that menu or even the button you right click on that button and click on settings you can switch to the classic style which is really pretty strange looking got it right here whichever one you choose like I said you just right click and click on settings you got this one it's real similar except all your programs are here it's kinda like Windows XP right there okay so I'll put it back on uh, Windows 7 since that's my favorite and right here you can replace the start button to make it look how you want if you uncheck that notice you got your Windows button back here but when you click on it you got your start menu or you can put it on classic whoops classic then you got a start button down there or you can click custom and then you can pick an image put a picture of yourself your pet whatever you want I'll leave it back here on the shell they call it arrow now up here in the top you got 
other settings you can change you know it's really self-explanatory if you read it and your skins you can customize your start menu you can ask add other stuff that shows you know and, or take stuff out the ones that are highlighted are the ones that are already on there and if you want to add more you can do a search and find other ones on your computer it's it just goes on and on or you can just leave it just like it is and like I said at the beginning you still have all of this this is still in there you still got you can still shut it down there you got your start button everything's still the same and now when you log in you'll see your desktop it goes straight to the desktop it, by, it bypasses the start menu altogether but if you want your start menu it's still there you can go back to your desktop or you can get to your start menu or start screen right here too it's really easy and say you wanna say you don't like it for some reason you don't like it you just you can go to your control panel and you can get to programs and features or my favorite I just love the search box add or remove programs find classic shell right click and uninstall it's that simple and it's gone it goes right back to how you had it alright thank you guys very much for watching